Back to Ezekiel 34. We pick up back in verse 26. And I will make them and the places round about my hill, Jerusalem, the throne of the Lord Jesus Christ, a blessing, happiness. And I will cause the shower to come down in his season. That's the latter and early rain. There shall be showers of blessings. So not just rain, just God pouring rain and blessings upon the people. And the field and the tree of the field shall yield her fruit. So there's fruit in the future, in the millennium. Just like the garden of God. The earth shall yield her increase. All the fruit that the earth can give is going to be an increase. They shall be safe in their land, no enemy, and shall know that I am the Lord. That's when you want to know that I am the Lord. When you are dwelling with the Lord Jesus Christ in peace and safety and being fed and just taking care of with showers of blessing, that is how to know the Lord. When I have broken the bands of their yoke and I said, Jesus said, take my yoke upon you. The Sadducees and the Pharisees had put in such a drain, such a yoke upon the people that they didn't even follow. They had to measure how far they would walk on a Sabbath. They had to wash their hands. They had to do this. They had to do that. They couldn't carry a bed. They couldn't do this. They had to bring this. Blah, 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 blah. And Jesus said, come here. I'll take all that junk off you. I'll take that religion off you. I'll take those rules and regulations. Just come to me. And that's what that verse means. He'll give them a rest from religion. You know, if your preacher of your church puts too much upon you by force, you need to come to the Lord Jesus Christ and take that yoke off. That's religion. Because God, because Paul told the Corinthian church, God wants a contrite heart. He wants you to willingly give. He wants you to go knock on doors because you want to, not because the pastor's forced. And if you go do any ministry in your church just to please the pastor, God ain't counting it to your account. You might as well not go. I was in a church one time. You know, we would have these fasts, two or three day fasts. And people would complain, oh, I'm so hungry. But they would wait. The, the last day to fast, it would be a fellowship, a restaurant or a church fellowship. Oh boy, everybody's happy then. And deliver them out of the hand of those that serve themselves of them. The only reason why they, these people have a flock is to take care of themselves. That's the only reason. They're not doing it for the love of God. They're not doing it for God. They're doing it for, the Bible says, God their belly. And they shall no more be a prey to the heathen. Neither shall the beasts of the land devour them. But they shall dwell safely, and none shall make them afraid. And that's going to be Israel in the millennium. I will raise up for them a plant of renown. Isaiah 11, 1. 33 1 that is the Lord Jesus Christ and they shall be no more consumed with hunger in the land no starvation neither bear the shame of the heathen anymore heathen will be tossed out there will be in the millennium will be only really the Jew and the Gentiles in the church. And those Gentiles that are there are the ones that help Israel. Thus shall they know that I am the Lord their God and with them. And that they, even the house of Israel, are my people. They care of the churches that it says he's all done with Israel. Saith the Lord God. And ye my flock. The flock of my pastor are men. Oh, see, God told you. God told you who this flock was. It's the men of Israel. And I am your God, 
saith the Lord God. Now, is the spiritual condition of Israel was the priests were not doing their jobs, they were just living off the hog. All the sacrifices the people brought, most of the sacrifices were given to the priests. It was their lot, and they were living off it. The first fruits, the first lambs, the first calves were all brought in the priests. The certain offerings were the priests. They were, that's all they wanted. Anything else, go away. Just bring your offerings. Feed us. Feed us. In the church today, you got preachers that are in the pulpit, and they're just soaking their congregation and not giving anything back. And they're starving for the word. They're not being fed. They're living on a diet of sugar and flour. And in the millennium, the Antichrist is going to just completely upset the Jews by wanting them all dead. Not taking care of them at all. They can't get Obamacare. Because you've got to have the mark to go in the hospital. They're not going to get a welfare kind of help because you've got to have the mark to get welfare. They're not going to get no food at the grocery store because you've got to have the mark to get your groceries at the grocery store. But there are going to be a few Gentile nations out there who are going to help that Jew. And as God will reward the Antichrist with a lake of fire, he's going to reward those nations that help his people. He's going to reward them with the Millennium Kingdom entrance. There's a warning. The people who are leading God's people, you better be feeding and you better not be fatter than they are. That's all I got to say.